and welcome to my first Create Mod tutorial video. Um, as you probably realised, I'm going to be rotating around um, Redstone videos, Create Mod videos, and Survival Let's Plays in that order. So, uh, the next video that I'm going to be making is the first episode of my Survival Let's Play. So you have that to look forward to. In this video, I'm going to be showing you all the different Create Mod power sources. So uh, let's get started, I guess. This is probably the first power source you're ever going to make in a uh, survival create mod world thing. Um, and basically, uh, it is a water wheel. Now, uh, I'm currently using the best setup for it, which is uh, a water stream running from here, uh, across the top, down the side, and along the bottom to get 160 stress units. Now, stress units are basically... Um, they power everything in the create mod, uh, and if you don't have enough of them in your machine, then everything will grind to a halt. Now you can see how close everything is uh, to grinding to a halt with this, a stressometer. Currently, uh, as you can see, I don't have anything attached to this water wheel, so it's in the green. But if I attach this crushing wheel, then as you can see it goes up to yellow, because it uses 80 stress units, and that's half of everything that this water wheel outputs. Now, to use a crushing wheel, you need two of them, because otherwise there's nothing to crush the thing you're crushing against, is there? So, uh, basically, uh, if you want to actually use this crushing wheel, you're going to need uh, to basically use the all of the remaining power uh, in this uh, water wheel. Uh, so, it's on 100% capacity, meaning that if I add anything to it, such as a third crushing wheel, or whatever, for whatever reason, everything grinds to a halt. It shows on here that we are using 150% of the capacity because uh, we currently need uh, 240 stress units to power three crushing wheels. But the moment I remove this crushing wheel, everything can function again. This is a windmill. Uh, now to use this, you, you're going to need uh, at least eight sails or wall blocks, and with the current setup I have, uh, it outputs 1,536 stress units. But as you can see, I have far more than eight of these uh, sail and wall blocks. So what happens if I remove some? Now that I've removed, uh, I think I've removed eight sails, uh, which means that uh, this windmill is now outputting. 1,024 stress units, which is still a pretty big upgrade from the 160 stress units that this water wheel does. Now, I should also mention that you're actually able to attach structures uh, to windmill bearings, uh, and they have hitboxes, um, and they actually carry you along with them, which is uh, really quite something, I think. Uh, although, oh, I hadn't realised that. It apparently crouching on them renders you unable to move, which is... I hadn't realised that before. But uh, what you'll need to attach these structures uh, to a windmill bearing is super glue. Now, you actually, you're actually going to have to super glue every individual block, as you can see. If you are really desperate for a small amount of power, then you could place a, an encased fan facing into a heat block. Uh, now, this is quite a step down from the water wheel, uh, but I'm sure you could use this to power something like a conveyor belt. Just before the video ends, uh, I wanted to give a special mention to the creative motor, which uh, you can't obtain in survival, uh, but uh, that's for good reason, because it outputs 262,144 stress units, which is ridiculous. Plus, if you scroll at the back here, can actually um, up the uh, uh, the RPM or rotations to minute uh, per minute, sorry, uh, by uh, up to how far can this go? Up to 256, which, as you can see, that really ups the speed of everything. <laughs> I mean, wow! And by going backwards into the negatives, uh, it uh, rotates the other way. Okay. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I. I really hope that uh, at least one of these power sources uh, came in handy and 
helped you with some contraption that you were building. And, um, yeah, I suppose, uh, cheers, have fun, and bye-bye.